What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is gonna be an update to the micro camper build. Uh, as I told you before, after I made the custom roof rack, I was gonna be adding some awnings and some other accessories. And I'm gonna go into depth a little bit about what I've added and kind of some future plans I got for the camper. If you guys are new to the channel, this is the micro camper that I built from scratch. I got a bunch of detailed build series videos on this thing. So if you wanna build your own, lots of good information in there and I'll have all of those linked in the description. In the last micro camper video, we made this custom roof rack, and now I have added two awnings to it. First one being our OVS 270 degree awning. I had this awning on my truck originally, and I thought it'd be a great fit for the camper just to set up as like a kind of like a base camp. Once you get these things open, there's just tons of space and tons of room, and I will open it up in a little bit here and show you what it looks like deployed. On this other side, we also got a product from OVS, and this is their shower cube. And that actually brings us to today's video sponsor. So Aventuron reached out to me. They're an adventure-based website. They do fly fishing, hunting, camping, hiking, kayaking. They have an overlanding category paired with a lot of major brands, and it's kind of a one-stop shop for everything outdoors. So thank you, Aventuron, for sending me this shower cube as part of the micro camper build. So you can head on over to their website, and that is Aventuron.com. And if you use the code ADV4x4, you get $25 off of a purchase of $250 or more. Alrighty, so I guess now we're gonna get these things deployed. We're gonna open up the 270. We're gonna open up the shower cube. And I may go ahead and just show you guys that in real time, just so you get an idea of how easy it is to open both of these products. Good thing about a freestanding awning is, is it makes setup a lot easier than some other brands. You don't have to worry about your poles breaking or anything like that while you're setting it up in high winds. Alrighty guys, so here is the awning deployed. As you can see, it's rather simple. This, it was a little wet last time I packed it up and put it away. So that's the kind of shiny little spots that you're seeing there. But uh, yeah, basically you just kind of pull it out. It's freestanding. Go ahead and run your strap there. It's got like a cinch strap so you can tighten it up. You can see it wraps all the way around this way. And then also another cinch strap. Uh, and we'll get into the shower cube here in a minute. Just wanna show you guys the awning first. So obviously with this thing being freestanding, it's pretty convenient. I will say that I use the legs more often than not, just because I like having the support if the wind's out. And also you can kind of get a tilt on the awning itself to kind of help with water runoff. I gotta say, one of my favorite features about this awning with the included legs is that you don't have to storm separately in the truck or anything. They just kind of swivel down on this little pivot here. Um, and then you go ahead and extend your poles. And it's just as simple as that. So now we have a nice solid setup. We don't necessarily need any guy wires. If you're gonna have some crazy winds or something like that, I'd recommend setting them up. But other than that, I mean, this thing is just extremely solid. We've had it in plenty of storms and wind and it's just done absolutely great the awning is a little bit on the heavy side it's about 80 pounds or so of course if you're building a camper like this uh you know what's another 80 pounds added to the build especially when you get this much shelter from the possible bad weather or just even some shade from the sun Alrighty, as you guys saw, this thing is super easy to set up. It takes almost no time at all, uh, and it's rather easy to pack up as well. I've always kind of wanted to add one of these to the truck, or even just uh, to this camper. I think it's kind of really a nice, crucial thing. It's a good place to change, and it's also a good place to take a shower. Obviously here, if you look inside, we got a bunch of space. Uh, they give you some zippers here, so you can access, like say this is hanging off the side of your truck, Maybe you got a little window right here and you want to access your clothes or, you know, something inside the truck so you can protect it from the water while you're showering. Then you're done. You can pull this down, reach in your window, grab your dry clothes, put them on. You got some nice pockets here. You can hold some shampoo. 
um, any other kind of toiletry items while you're in here. One thing I really like they did here was actually, so there's, this is like a rod in here. So it's nice and stiff, helps keep its shape and it's not gonna flap around as much. You can stake it down if you'd like. I don't ever foresee myself feeling the need to stake it down unless it's super windy, maybe at the beach. They got these adjustable straps. So no matter how tall or short your rig is, you can adjust it to your proper height. I pretty much cinch these all the way up. I'll probably end up kind of rolling these up and zip tying them nice and neat so they're not dangling everywhere. This is only the second time I've opened it. So still getting familiar with the whole unit. It's got the same great aluminum construction here, just like our awning. Uh, got some nice metal pivots, super strong. Uh, no worries about wind breaking this thing. And also it can, it can handle a little bit of abuse, I would say, but obviously anything within reason. So obviously we still got some space on the roof here. I do have some plans. Uh, I got a shower system that I'm gonna be putting on this camper that's gonna be for a separate video. Uh, it'll end up being mounted to the roof and it'll work in conjunction with this shower cube. That being said, I think I'm gonna keep the cube right here. I honestly kind of debated on maybe if I could mount it back here somehow and then so it could open under this awning so even rain or shine you know summertime or something like that you want to take a shower uh, you could open up the cube or use the restroom I'll have to kind of look into that a little bit more the roof rack is a little far from this back edge so I'd have to do some extensions or something like that brackets to mount it but I think I can make it happen if I decide to that being said let me know what your vote is do you think I could keep the shower cube over there on the side or maybe I can put it in the back here my thoughts with it being on that back side there is normally I face this side of the camper, you know, like towards the campfire or towards the camp itself. So having the shower on the back side, it'd be away from everybody. Uh, you know, maybe there's some other trucks over here. So having your shower kind of in a private location would be nice. Um, but kind of the thought of having it under the awning here, I think is actually pretty cool. So yeah, just let me know what you think about that and I'll consider any, any ideas you may have. Also anybody who's been following along, you guys know I put an extra dimmer switch on the inside of the camper right there. Uh, and I was gonna do some roof rack lights and I, I just haven't put them up there and it's just because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. I wanted to get both of these things mounted up here, see where uh, kind of what I was left with because I can't really mount them underneath of the awning, there's no room. Uh, if I put them front and back, I'm not really sure exactly what that'll illuminate that's useful. So if you guys have any ideas of what I could use that switch for, maybe some uh, under lighting so it kind of creates like an ambient lighting under the trailer would be pretty cool. If you have any ideas for that, uh, just drop some comments below. Definitely look to uh, hear from you guys and maybe your creativity on what we could add to the camper besides what we've already done. I am considering adding a long box up top uh, kind of like one of those Rome cases. I don't think I'm gonna use that brand exactly. I think Iron Man makes some good cases for a good price. Maybe mount one of those up here. I could put some wheel chocks in there, even some firewood, just some random things that are dirty that you don't wanna maybe put in the back of uh, the Forerunner or the Tacoma or even inside the camper. It'd just be a good spot as a storage box up here. Obviously we got our moto carrier up here. I have been using that and it is working well. I will do a separate video on that at a later date but yeah guys that's an update on the camper uh once again just let me know your ideas as far as the shower cube goes or anything else i can add to this thing as far as accessories go just useful things obviously we want things that are practical but we are towing a whole camper so you might as well get a little bit of luxury have the shower uh, really excited to show you guys this shower system that will be coming up next so once again thank you guys for watching don't forget to go to adventuron.com use code adv 4x4 for 25 dollars off of your order of 250 dollars or more and we'll see you next time